Hello, I'm FDX FDXSlicat and welcome back to the Secret Feature video. These are videos I make on my channel every single time an update comes out for Minecraft on the console to let you know about all of the features that were included in that update but that weren't on the official changelog. The reason these are called secret features is because there's no way to find out about them besides just happening across them in the game or by watching one of these videos. And that's why in today's video I'm showing you 5 secret features that have already been found inside of Update 54 and honestly some of these are quite cool and perhaps better than some of the features on the official changelog and that's why I want to share it with you as soon as I can and that's what I'm doing in today's video. Hopefully you all do enjoy. You can like the video if you do because it helps out the channel a lot. Let's know you do like the secret feature videos, but also let me know uh, let, let me know that you like the fact that we found these, despite the fact that there's not meant to be so many secrets and we've already found some better than the ones on the changelog. So with this said, let's get straight into the first one here. And the first one is a really big deal that seems like it's really bad. I can almost understand them wanting to not put it on there because to a lot of people it seems silly on the surface, like why do we need this on console? But it's actually quite useful because it is auto jump. So auto jump, you might think really like we're not the pocketition. We can we can press X or you know A or whatever when we hit a block. But the reason auto jump exists is because it's actually quite useful not only if you want to be lazy because with auto jump in the game so that's where it is by the way with auto jump in the game if you don't want to like press a repeat x sorry x or a or whatever repeatedly now you can just like walk towards it it's really handy you can do it backwards um, and like left as well by the way so if you just want to like go towards a block and end up there as long as you're like right at least up you can do it right and left and if you just do it uh, correctly enough then you're just going to walk towards it and stuff will happen for some reason it only worked one block there but you can actually uh, like do this in certain directions uh, apparently it depends on your ankle uh, but you can so you can do it in a different direction where you can't see where you're going, but also if you just want to be lazy, you want to play Minecraft with like one and a half hands, don't ask me what one and a half hands mean, but if you want to play Minecraft just a little bit lazier, you can do that like this, and it's going to be handy for PvP, but more importantly than just being lazy, I think the big thing about it is being able to run upstairs faster. So one of the big secrets about um, auto jump is it allows you to run upstairs faster. Here's how fast you can run up them if you have it enabled. So it's getting a little bit stuttery because again, is, I'm not sure if this is a glitch or intended, but it does still exist in the game after all these updates, and it allows you to climb stairs much, much faster, about one and a half times as fast, which means that you have a genuine advantage if you have this turned on. So you can be lazy and it actually helps you. So that was with auto jump. Let me show you one more time about auto jump. This is how fast you go up there. It's really slow. It's like it feels sluggish now by comparison. And let me show you one more time with auto jump because to me it's a really big difference. And uh, again, if you're playing PvP, you might as well have the advantage in my opinion. So yeah, that's kind of a, a cool little change in this update. The second secret feature is actually to do with the villagers. So there is, uh, as well as the 12 brand new mobs on the change log, as well as the brand new type of villager, so 13 brand new mobs, there's actually a 14th brand new mob that is a secret. So this is the brand new official one, the cartographer. He will sell you uh, adventure maps, uh, you know, to find wooden mansions or ocean monuments. But as well as this guy, again, he's an official uh, brand new feature. We've also got, if you look over here, um, we've actually got, Okay, let's find him. Uh, you got a brand new green type of villager called the Nitwit. So this is the Nitwit right here. As you can see, I sorry for punching you. Um, as you can see, he's called a Nitwit, and, and you might think like that's a bit mean. So cat, don't just call him a Nitwit because he's wearing green. Green is a valid color to wear. And one, I, I wouldn't know if I agree with that. But two, uh, if you actually see, unlike all the other villagers which you can trade with, you cannot trade with the Nitwit. He is called the Nitwit because he is unable to trade with players. He's just a little, you know, he's got a few. I don't know, emeralds missing in his head or something, and uh, that means that he can't trade people. There's not much use to him, honestly, and you can only really find him uh, either super rarely through spawn eggs, and I don't believe naturally in the game, but still, the fact that he exists is kind of funny if you ask me, and if you want to have a nitwit, then guess what? You can do so by just spawning a bunch of villagers. Why would you want to have one? I'm not sure, but maybe you just, you don't like training villagers. You think it's too intimidating that they want to sell you their wares, like their emeralds or their, their leather, and instead you'd rather just have a villager you can stand with, you can stare at, and you can enjoy your day with. So, yeah, this is the nitwit. He is the Perfect villager for all those things I just said, and realistically, he's not useful. But still, it's pretty cool. There's a brand new secret mob that's like 14 the tallies out already. And uh, let's move on to the next secret feature, which is to do with the blazes, actually. So, by the way, in case you're curious, I thought there'd be a secret feature with the chicken, but they're still missing a neck. So, this will be fixed eventually, but right now you can see from the neck. So, yeah, let's move on to the third secret feature, which is the blaze. So, the blaze looks like this. You're probably quite familiar with them. And it's actually really cool because it's actually uh, the first use for the splash potions of water. These are uh, potions they added in the last major update that just didn't do anything. They, there's no point to them existing, but now they're still the same, but like you can argue they have a point because they will do one damage to a blaze. That's right. If you throw them at them, you can see it causes some red sparkles. It didn't do it before this update. I checked, uh, you know, it would make sense that it did, but it, did, it doesn't. And this means you can actually injure the blaze slowly bit by bit using splash potions of water. So you need 16 of these if you want to kill one. And given that the splash potion has a range like this in survival, you wouldn't want to do it that way, especially given the snowball exists. But there is now theoretically a use for the splash potion of water. You can eventually kill a blaze and he will eventually drop uh, glowstone. Again, as far as I can tell, it's just glowstone. And uh, yeah, there's a fun fact about blazes you might not have known. You can now 
attack them with the splash potion of water. Woo! Went from being the most useless item in the game to probably still that actually. But still, it's nice that it has some use in my opinion. And that's a little change they made in this update. So another little change they made in this update is to all mobs. Uh, the village is a good way to show it off. But they actually do physically exist. If you walk at them, it'll bounce off you because they take up physical space in the game. So only so many of them can exist in the same spot. So we tried to put like loads of chickens in there. Uh, it's actually going to cause problems. So we'll come back to that later. But for now, uh, the secret feature is that you can walk into mobs and they have like physical existence. So we take a llama. Let's be honest, everyone's favorite mob. Uh, and we walk into it. As you can see, like it's going to bounce back at us. Uh, the same is true for players, if I'm not mistaken. Again, haven't tested that yet. All I can tell you for now, the secret feature is you can walk into mobs and they do physically exist and take up some amount of space, which is something you might not have known. So as well as uh, this uh, fourth little secret feature, there is uh, one more in this update, which is to do with the bed. We have a brand new message. So not only is the bed different uh, because it has different colors, so that's kind of cool. Not only is it different because it has a glitch where it goes red, then it dies itself. So again, really nice new palettes, etc. Uh, but also the bed has a brand new message when you try to reach into it from too far. Uh, you now can't go from here. It'll just say, you may not rest now. The bed is too far away. We've got a brand new status message and it's not a fun one. Like no one likes to be told that something's too far away, but it's one that does exist. So yeah, there is five secret features found in TU54. Um, there's so many more that like I've been digging through and looking for. So expect another one of these videos probably tomorrow. And uh, again, if you want to see these uh, because they are like, they take a lot of research and stuff, then make sure you like the video. If you have found a secret, that wasn't in this video, leave it in the comments down below. Share it if you did like it, subscribe when you're out here. I make videos like this one every single day on my channel. And if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. So coming up later, I have a seed with three woodland mansions and I believe four witches huts on a classic world. So if you want to see that, then make sure you stay tuned to the channel. And I'll also be streaming later on today. Lots of fun stuff, really love the update times. Um, this is a pretty fun update. So I guess uh, thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you all in the next one. Uh, do you like my world by the way? This is the PlayStation 4. Goodbye.